Hi everyone, Miss Almond and Blotty here. Well, fasten your heat belts because this lesson is all about thermal energy. Enjoy! Thermal energy, or heat energy, is the energy something has because of the movement of its molecules or atoms. When molecules and atoms are cold, they move slowly. As molecules and atoms heat up, they vibrate and move faster. The hotter they are, the more they move, vibrate, and collide. As the molecules and atoms get hotter, their thermal energy increases. Sunlight. The sun is an example of two types of energy, light and thermal energy. Many reptiles and amphibians require sunlight. When they need to warm up, they often bask in the sun to raise their body temperature. My word! Sunlight is the main heat source for bodies of water on Earth. Sunlight warms oceans, rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water. Fire is an example of two types of energy, light and thermal energy. The heat from fire can be used to cook food. Yum, yum, my marshmallow is almost done. Now it's completely gone and my tail is very warm. Heat from fire can be used for warmth. Nice and toasty. This is a science tool called a Bunsen burner. It is a small flame used in laboratories. The blue flame from a Bunsen burner is very hot and difficult to see. Ouch! You need to be safety conscious when using it. Safety first! Many appliances convert natural gas or electricity to thermal energy. Let them eat cake and cookies. Ovens convert gas or electricity to thermal energy, which can be used to cook food. Dryers convert gas or electricity to thermal energy. Here you go, wet shut into the dryer until we heat again. Ta-da, good as new. Blow dryers also use thermal energy to dry things. Getting ready for doggy daycare. What other examples of thermal energy can you name? That was hot, your average lesson, until we heat again.